Hello, everyone. My name is Xuben, and I'm a postgraduate student in the School of Politics and Administration of China West Normal University. I'm very honored to be invited by the organizing committee to participate in this conference and give this oral presentation. The topic of the paper that I will publish is Research on the Contradiction of Communicative Rationality in the Network Public Sphere. Here, I will carry out some simple discussions on my thesis. My main narrative in this report consists of three parts. The first part is the topic background of this paper. That is, why I would like to choose the topic of research. The second part is a general introduction to the research logic and method. And the third part is a sketchy discussion of my conclusion. First, I will talk about the background of the paper. Let's think about the title again. Obviously, we can extract two concepts from it, namely the network public sphere and the communicative rationality. Here, we need to pay attention to the fact that the network public sphere is obviously a new form of the public sphere within network society. And the communicative rationality is mainly embodied by the communicative action. Both factors have been systematically studied and explained by Jürgen Habermas once. So why did I choose to continue the research on those two concepts and think that conducting this research in the contemporary era has the same significance as in the past? Let's first take a look at the first key concept. The network public sphere. We know that in the books, the structural transformation of the public sphere written by Mr. Habermas. The socialization of the country and the nationalization of the society proceed at the same time. And the country and society are gradually integrated. This leads to a structural transformation of the bourgeois public sphere. And this is a passive refutalization process, which means that the sphere is gradually disappearing. However, in today's network society, the trend of separating the state and the society has resurfaced, and the public sphere has recovered in the cyberspace and achieved unprecedented development. The network public sphere has become a hot topic in the research of the internet society because compared with the public sphere defined in the past, its meaning and characteristics have undergone tremendous changes. And there have some of those changes that we have not yet discovered. But in general, we can roughly understand the online public sphere as a new interactive space for the time being, in which people can discuss certain public affairs without going to a specific place in person. Such, such a virtual interactive space can be called an absent space. Therefore, I think it is valuable and inevitable to revisit the concept of the public sphere under such a background. Let's look at the second key concept, the rationality of network communications. As I said before, communication rationality is embedded in communicative actions. To explore the contradictions in communicative rationality, one must first understand the significance of the communicative action. In Habermas vision, communicative action is closely linked to the public sphere, and so the same goes for the network society. The formation of the online public sphere benefits from the interaction of the public in cyberspace. The latter is the basis for the construction of the former. And more importantly, the transformation of the meaning and characteristics of public sphere that I just mentioned depends on the transformation of the traits of communicative action in cyberspace. Of course, compared with, with real, real life, social interaction on the internet also contains a lot of new features. Many interactive behaviors on the internet can no longer be explained by the theories of realistic interaction in the past. For example, the low cost of network interaction 
will be discussed later in this paper. It's a feature not found in real interaction. Like the idea of thinking that the online public domain is an absent space, the online communication action can also be said to be an absent communication. The reason why I want to discuss communicative action and the communicative rationality is to analyze the problems that may exist in the online public sphere from the perspective of public communication, and then explore the path of its development. Now, let's enter the second part of this report, research logic and analysis method. The first step of my research is to discuss the rise of the public sphere in the internet age. This is what I mentioned in the previous research background section. My discussion of the internet public sphere is, is mainly based on the bourgeois public sphere described by Mr. Habermas. Here I mainly introduce the rise of the internet public sphere and lay the foundation for the subject research. The second is to discuss interaction on the internet. This mainly involves two aspects. On the one hand, it's the core of the construction of absent interaction. And on the other hand, it is current characteristics of absent interaction. I introduced the concept of network symbol to try to explain the co construction mechanism of absent interaction. Symbols are the medium that people must use when interacting. In daily communication activities, we use language, body movement, and facial expressions to convey our thoughts, all of which belongs to, belong to the category of symbols. Of course, when it comes to online communication, we still can't ex escape the use of symbols, but its specific form has changed. People mainly use text, pictures, video, and emoji that we can use today to interact and spread information. I think that different specific form of symbols will construct different communication mechanisms, which in turn de derive characteristics that are different from realistic communication in the absent interaction. This also leads to my analysis of the characteristics of absent interaction. In terms of method, I chose Sina Microblog as, a, as the specific carrier of the network public sphere. It's currently the largest public social platform in China. And I use it as a typical case to extract the characteristics of the network public sphere, which are important factors in my research theme. These characteristics can be summarized as the cross-temporal and spatial nature of symbol com communication, the observa observability of public attitude trend, the operability of symbols, the cultural diversity of the public, and the low cost of interaction. These characteristics are analyzed, analyzed in comparison with realistic communicative actions. Next is the analysis of contradictions in the communicative action in the network public sphere. Like the previous part, I divided, I divided this part into two aspects. First, I sought out the concept of communicative rationality, which included the validity claim of communication that proposed by Habermas in the book, The Theory of Communicative Action. Only the actions that meet the validity claims can be called rational. And the rationality of an expression can be restored through criticism and argumentation. Based on this, I believe that the core content of communicative action that in the network public sphere is the process of argumentation. Then the second is to discuss the contradiction and the problems that exist in rationality of network communication. In this part, I'm mainly based on the observation of various online public social platforms and uh, combined with the features of network interaction that extract before to explore the rationality and the problems that exist in the interactive actions. In general, 
This is the logic and the method that I used in this research. And it is also the framework of this paper. After completing the above research process, I come to the conclusion that the aforementioned features of communicative action in the absent space not only bring new impetus to the development of public sphere, but also produce potential threats at the same time. Looking at the phenomena that have appeared on the social platform in recent years, there are many that are worthy of praise, but many are irrational. The problems of communication action in the network public sphere are closely related to their own trait. For example, the operability of symbols directly leads to the emergence of, of false information that is spread across time and space to the network, which brings great difficulties to the control of rumors. When all kind of information in cyberspace is mixed and the public's trust in social events will decline. The observability of public attitude trends also leads to a large number of hurt behaviors. People tend to agree with the view that has been attached by more people, which result in the reduction of people's rational thinking ability. The cultural diversity can contained in communication also increase the possibility of a conflict among people. Because humans of different culture are more likely to have different even or even conflict context in the communication process. So it will be more difficult for people to reach an understanding of communication. The most worthy thing is the low cost of absent interaction. The absent space provide people with a field of interaction with almost no cost, allowing the public to take what they need and talk what they think. But it's also because of low cost interaction that some people cannot spontaneously maintain rational discourse thinking. That is to say, on the one hand, it directly brings about a low degree of rationalization of online communication, communicative action. On the other hand, this feature is also an important force to promote the rise of network public sphere because the low cost of interaction makes the discussion in the space more adequate. Therefore, in the network public sphere, sufficiency and rationality have become a set of contradiction that ebb and flow. And the contradiction of communicative rationality in the network public sphere is thus reflected. In the end, I think that the development of network technology as a tool cannot directly solve the problem of communication action. So the core of more modernity structure transformation of the network public sphere lies in the modernization of the public. Furthermore, the modernization of human knowledge is the key to resolving the contradictions in online communication. And the network technolo technology can also support us to do so. After all, we can get all the knowledge we need through the internet. The above is all I have to report in this conference. If you have any questions or suggestions, please discuss with me through the official channel provided by the organizing committee. Thank you for listening.